This selection of the video will demonstrate the proper technique for removing a mole using punch biopsy. The patient has a mole that is irregular and changed in appearance. Identify the mole, ensuring you have patient consent. Clean the area and put a local anesthetic just around the mole. Once the area is frozen, pinch or pucker the skin to a small degree. Take the punch, in this case a 3.5 millimeter punch that will encompass the entire lesion, place it over the mole and push down with a gentle pressure while spinning the punch. Remove the punch. You will see the mole come out with the punch and sit on the surface. If the mole sticks to the punch, you may have to extract it. It may also be necessary to snip the base, removing the small amount of fatty tissue that is there. What you will see is the mole with a very small circle of regular tissue around it. The tissue is then sent to the lab for biopsy. A small punch mark hole remains. Close the wound with a stitch, though occasionally a second stitch is required. The suture should stay in about a week. When it comes out, the patient should have very cosmetically acceptable look. Always tell patients that there will be a mark there and that they're exchanging the mole for a small scar. This section of the video will demonstrate the proper technique for removing a mole using a shave incision. The shave incision is a simple office procedure. Clean and freeze the area around the mole. Pucker the area to make it stand out a little bit. Use the scalpel blade to cut the skin at a 45 degree angle, going just beyond the mole. When partway through the dermis, slice horizontally and shave in a gentle back and forth motion until you are beyond the mole. Then pick up the severed mole with the forceps and complete the incision, cutting at a 45 degree angle. It is important to make sure all the pigment is gone. The incision is almost like a controlled scrape. The nice thing about this technique is that the incision is very superficial. The scarring should be quite minimal and be very acceptable from a cosmetic point of view. Use Moncel solution to stop the bleeding, which should occur in just a few seconds. Moncel solution is not used on the face because sometimes iron staining can occur. Finish by applying a bandage.